Now in this question, it says that I've got HBr, and I've got a solution of HBr that is uh, 0 0.072 molar, or moles per liter. That's the concentration. And I've got 25 milliliters of it. It's, of course, going to dissociate completely to form H plus and Br minus. It then says separately that I've got sodium hydroxide, and I've got a solution that has a concentration of 0 0.085 molar. It's, of course, going to dissociate completely to form Na plus and OH minus. It asks me, how much of this sodium hydroxide do I have to add to completely neutralize this HBr? Now, when we say neutralize, what we're talking about is this OH minus killing the H plus. Ha! When they combine, they form H2O. In order to do that, I have to figure out how many moles of H plus this amount of HBr is going to spit out. How do I do that? By using the glory of math. I've got 25 milliliters of HBr. I'm going to convert milliliters to liters by remembering there's 1,000 milliliters in one liter. And then in the next set of brackets, I'll put liters in the denominator, and I'll put moles in the numerator. For this particular solution, I have 0 0.072 moles of HBr in every one liter of HBr. The liters cancel each other out. The mils cancel each other out. And I end up getting a final answer of 0 0.0018. Uh, moles of HBr. Now because HBr releases H plus in a one-to-one -one ratio, by extension that means that I'm going to get 0 0.0018 moles of H plus. So I have to add whatever volume of sodium hydroxide this concentration it takes in order to get uh, 0 0.0018 moles of OH minus. Does that make sense? Because I want to have add the exact amount to perfectly cancel out this number of moles of H+. So I have to add the same number of moles of hydroxide. Here's how we go about doing that. I want 0 0.0018 moles of hydroxide. That's what I want. I put a set of brackets here and I'll go ahead and write down moles of hydroxide in the denominator per li with liter in the numerator. Now, this concentration of sodium hydroxide is 0 0.085 moles of sodium hydroxide per liter. That's what molar means. Because it's present in a one-to-one-to-one -one -to -one ratio, I'm going to get the same concentration of hydroxide out of this. So I can go ahead and put 0.085, that's a 0, 0.85 moles of hydroxide in one liter. If I do this math, that's going to spit out and tell me exactly how many liters I need. The moles of hydroxide cancel each other out, and the final answer that I end up getting is 0 0.0211 liters. That is the amount of sodium hydroxide at this concentration you need to add to get exactly 0 0.0018 moles of hydroxide at the other end and thereby cancel out that exact number of moles of H+. <laughs> Dang.